Y'all have been asking me for this video. It has taken me such a long time because I'm, I don't have this perfect, but I don't think y'all care if it's perfect. You just want to know this works. Here is the hydraulic rear brake Honda. That is my new hydraulic rear brake lever. I've got an eBay special hydraulic hose, which I believe has caused me an issue. Um, I've got to find a suitable replacement. It's an 85 inch hose. This is an Outlander 400 to 800 um, rear or front brake, I don't know. I routed my brake hose right down there. I've got all the plastics off. I come right down here, right along the frame. I go right beside the carburetor underneath the air box. Beside the, the rear spring, out to a Wellwood caliper. That bracket I had to fab up. Here's a video of me actually making that bracket. That video is um, a year and three months old right now. So this, is, this has been something I've been working on and testing for a little while. I had my friend weld up this piece of steel on this uh, I don't know, lap joint, whatever that is, just a little bit because basically for the caliper that I'm using, I need to bolt it on one side and I need that exact height and I need the, the offset by itself. So this is perfect. Um, I didn't cut it quite straight, so you notice it's a little bit crooked. It's a piece of scrap steel, so it already had some holes. But... I've got the axle side, which is the top that you're seeing right now. I've got that laid on here in between those holes and I've scribed it where I need it cut and I've center punched my two holes. So the axle side is gonna match exactly and then the back side, back over here by my thumb, this is all changing. So I'm gonna go ahead and start drilling holes for the axle side. So I've got this verified in its position and it's time to punch a hole. I love this. Something very satisfying about that. You can see that little arc I'm trying to get. I did all this with an angle grinder. I'm gonna get the jigsaw and take care of just that little bit right there. I'll do the rest with the angle grinder. It's coming. So this still ate through two jigsaw blades and I just decided I'll notch out all the rest of that with my angle grinder and just a normal cutoff wheel. So now I'm just gonna mess up right there and that annoys me. Anyway, so now I've just got to round the rest of that out and round the corners and then flip it over and do the other side. This wheel wood I had to modify so that it would accept a banjo fitting. That caliper is off an 03 Arctic Cat Fire Cat. The Super ATV hub assembly and brake disc stayed from the kit that's about it um, the arctic cat brake disc and the super atv brake disc are the same thickness the same thickness within like a sixteenth of an inch it works um, i didn't want to modify the super atv hub to fit the arctic cat it would have taken a little bit of modification um, and if i had to i would have but luckily i didn't have to that bracket i'll have the link to it in my description as well 
Um, the bracket was the hardest part. We've used this a little bit. It's been a weird year this year. Um, we didn't go riding like we normally would. So this thing has been sat parked in my driveway for the longest time. But I did have my boys run this thing and run it hard. I ran it hard. Um, I'm actually able with this setup to lock the rear brakes at like 30 miles an hour. 20 or 30, something like that. So it works. I actually have stopping power. Like I said, right now, I have no brake fluid in the entire system because I think the sun damaged my eBay special brake line. So I'm going to I'm gonna look for a better brake line, but it's an 85-inch brake line with banjo hose. So it should be super easy to find something better to replace it with. That is literally the only weak link in this entire system. This thing is now able to stop itself. I had the parking brake set for six months. Um this sat all winter long that's actually one reason it took me so long because i wanted to make sure that this didn't just bleed pressure off because i was afraid that's what it was doing at first i apologize this video took so long but i wasn't about to make a follow-up video if i if i knew that there was an issue that brake line that's not even really an issue that's an easy swap done i had my reservations about the ebay brake line anyway so this just fully confirms them. So buy a good one, don't buy it off eBay. I wanted this to sit, I wanted this, this modification to age, I wanted to see what would be affected, what would break, what would work. Um, and the fact that it has stopped so well, I'd, I'd be willing to bet you I could fill this thing with brake fluid and stop it again right now, once I bleed the air out. But there's no reason to even put brake fluid in when I know I've got to swap that, that brake line. So total cost, you got the Super ATV kit just to get the hub and the disc. Um, I, I don't, I really do not believe there's anything else that I use from that kit. Then you got the master cylinder and the rear brake caliper. Those two things you can source used, find them on eBay, buy the new version of those parts, you know, off the dealers if you want. Um... Then there's the fabrication of the bracket. Super ATV had a nice bracket to hold up their caliper, but I could not make that work. I tried, I tried so hard. I did not want you guys to have to fab anything up. Look in my description, there's the part list, where I got it, and then the instructions for how to fab up that bracket. It's really easy. It's two pieces of steel, one weld, four holes. I mean, I did this in my home shop, had my buddy weld it up, um, but if you have a better welder than I do and have better skills than I do, you can weld this in your garage. I use the drill press for this, but you can absolutely use a handheld drill. The holes don't have to be exactly perfect, but just pretty dang close. So in my description is all of that stuff. I hope you guys have great success building this on your own. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll answer any and everything that I can. See y'all later. Like, subscribe, and share.